Grace and peace to you in the name of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is Friday, January the 26th, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Friday Morning Pastors Devotional here at Huguenot Road Baptist Church. My name is Bob Lee, and it is just a, a great joy to have you join me this morning. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about markers of our faith or reminders of our faith. And there's an old word, you've probably heard it in a number of times, or sung it, read it in the Bible, that helps us to remember ways that God has blessed us, or has strengthened us, or has helped us. And that old word is Ebenezer. You might remember it from Ebenezer Scrooge, but it goes way beyond that. Ebenezer is a transliteration of the Hebrew, and it means stone of help. Eben is the Hebrew word for stone, and etzer is the word in the Hebrew for help. So put together, Ebenezer is Evan etzer, stone of help. There's a hymn that we sing in church often. It's one of my favorites, and it's uh, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, hymn number 15 in the, the Baptist hymnal of 1991, which we use here. And the second stanza of the hymn, Here I raise mine Ebenezer, hither by thy help I'm come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. This reminds us that our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. There's a scripture passage in the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 12. After the Hebrew people had won a significant battle, the Bible says, then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mitzvah and Shen. He named it Ebenezer saying, thus far, the Lord has helped us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thus far, the Lord has helped us. Often, we are like the Hebrew people when they were in the wilderness, and they would forget of the Lord's help, and they would want to go back to Egypt where they were enslaved, where they were miserable, making bricks of straw and under oppression constantly, day in and day out. 400 years they were enslaved. And in the wilderness they had manna from heaven, water from the rock. God provided quail on the earth and God led them toward the land of promise. And while they were in the wilderness, they just were dying to go back where they came from. And this thought of Ebenezer would be a way that as they progressed and as they journeyed into the land of promise and as God helped them over the years, that God was their helper. Now, Max Lucado asks us this question in his book, Help is Here. What are your Ebenezer moments? Not everyone can evangelize like Billy Graham, write like Charles Spurgeon, or care for the poor like Mother Teresa. But don't you think we can each talk about our only God moments and the way that God has compassion on us? So I hope that uh, this morning helps us to think of the ways that God has been with us God has helped us. God has strengthened us, Help us to overcome obstacles or become um, free from some of the things that bind us, or that hold us captive, uh, that Ebenezer reminds us of the ways God is our help. Well, I hope that's an encouraging word for us today, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we continue to worship together. We're in a series focusing on our spiritual priorities, 
And this Sunday, we're going to talk about fellowship. It's one of the key essentials in the early church as we're focusing on the five pillars of our church, which stem from Acts chapter 2, 42 through 47. Well, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Thanks again for joining me this morning, and I hope you have a great day, and God bless you. We'll see you soon.